Hey guys, it's me Pranav HP back with another gaming PC build. The budget for today is 44,000 rupees, which is quite an ideal budget for the upper mid end gaming PC build in India. If you end up building this PC, I'm pretty sure you'll love the performance it can juice out for you. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, the processor we are going with is the Intel Core i3 61006 generation dual core processor. Now this is clocked at 3.7 GHz with a turbo boost up to 4 GHz and priced around at 9000 rupees. It is definitely a great upgrade from the Pentium G4400 and AMD FX6300 since this is hyperthreading and turbo boost technology. Now what hyperthreading does is in this case makes Windows think that there are 4 cores even if the processor only has 2 physical cores. Turbo Boost allows the processor to boost its clock speed up to 4 GHz without overclocking manually. So both of these features along with 3M cache makes this processor a big yes. Also just to mention it also performs better than some i5s from the 4th generation architecture. Moving on with the motherboard. We are going with the same motherboard that we used in our 30,000 rupees build that is the ASUS H110MK DDR4 Micro ATX motherboard which is priced around at 4800 rupees. Like I said the motherboard doesn't really make any such difference in the performance at a budget build and this ASUS one has more USB 3.0 ports along with the much user friendly BIOS provided by ASUS. Talking about the RAM, again I've selected the same Kingston HyperX Fury Black 8GB DDR4 RAM clocked at 2133MHz which is priced around at 3000 rupees. DDR4 RAM again instead of the old DDR3, more clock speed, less power consumption and newer technology. So happy gaming! Now the part that I as well as all of you here are excited for, the graphics card. So I've decided to go with the newest budget oriented graphic card from NVIDIA which destroys all competition among 15,000 to 23,000 GPUs. Yes, we are going with the Zotac GeForce GTX 1060 3GB graphics card which is priced around at 18,500 rupees. The base clock itself is a huge 1506 MHz and boost clock is 1708 MHz. If you ask me, this is all you need to enjoy new titles for the next 4-5 to five years at 1080p or even 1440p monitors. It's got NVIDIA G-Sync, GPU Boost 3.0, Game Stream, Ancel, it is VR Ready 2 and only needs a single 6-pin PCIe connector. This is the most ideal graphics card in my opinion. Exactly enough balance, not too low end and not too overkill. Also, don't worry about getting the 6GB VRAM unless you are planning on using a multiple monitor setup or a 4K setup. Moving on with the hard drive. Again, we are going with the Western Digital 1TB Blue desktop internal hard drive which is priced around at 3700 rupees. 1TB is enough for all of your games as well as your other files like movies and softwares. And again, I'd suggest you to buy 120 gigs of SSD if you are upgrading from an old PC and if you already have an HDD. Let's talk about the PSU. We are going with the Corsair VS series VS 550W SMPS priced around at 3600 rupees. It offers up to 85% efficiency and is pretty quiet even at full load. Now the recommended PSU for our graphic card is 400 watt, but we are going with this more than enough one just for future upgrades. And no, you don't need a 700-800 watt PSU for any budget gaming PC build. So this one is perfect for this build. Now finishing this build with the cabinet. Like I said you'd get better deal and variety if you go to your local hardware store from the PC cabinet. But if you just wanna get something online. Then I'd recommend the Zebronix Rolls Out Castle Cool Series Cabinet which is priced around at 1400 rupees. It looks good and comes with USB and audio headers in the front. Plus we also get 1 year warranty in case you are not very sure. Again the case depends on your personal preference. You don't have to get that I mentioned only. So this brings us to the end of this build. The total cost is 44,000 rupees. 
Considering what you get from pre-built PCs, this gets a lot and I mean a super lot more performance than those ones. All the links to the parts mentioned will be listed down in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, click the like button if you like it. If you have any suggestions or feedbacks or questions, feel free to comment down below and share it with your fellow geek enthusiasts. If you have not seen my first video, go and be sure to check that out too where the budget we took was 30,000 rupees. And if you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? It's free. Just click that red subscribe button down below because I'll be uploading more of these. Stay tuned and signing off. Happy gaming.